Right, what up people? It's your boy Chig from Guna Eagle Eye coming to you again with a brand new video. This time is to talk about the very real increasing possibility, probability at this point, that Mikel Arteta is going to be our brand new Arsenal manager. Um, I discussed a lot of this, a lot of what I'm going to say, um... In my previous video, when I talked about all the managerial candidates, um, and I gave my thoughts when I first heard the news then, my thought process evolved a little bit. Here's how. Um, I think we need to start getting used to the real possibility that this could happen. I think the idea that Mikel Arteta who is, albeit, ex has some experience as Pep's... No I don't even think he was Pep's number two, was he? Wasn't he one of the coaches at Man City? Um, and he's coming in and being given one of the biggest jobs in the world, one of the biggest footballing jobs in the world. Uh, seems crazy to me. It seems ridiculous. In no other walk of life. And I think people can't really understand why I have that point of view. To me, that's like me, I don't know, being an apprentice somewhere. At, let's just say like a, 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 tele, a, a telecommunications company um, at a very low level. Being an apprentice somewhere for two, maybe three years. Um, and then being told, right, cool. Now you're going to be the CEO of the whole company. It would never happen in any other walk of life. And all right, maybe what I've said is an extreme, but in no other walk of life would you go from a number, a number two, three, four at best to managing one of the biggest, whatever you want to say about Arsenal as a fallen giant, whatever, one of the biggest footballing clubs in the world. It, to me, is is just is madness. It's absolute madness because they happen to have seen Arteta, Arteta uh, take a few training sessions or whatever the case is. I, apparently, I've heard that it's because Ivan was very impressed with uh, Arteta and the way he conducted himself around the, the training field and how he he often took part or, or led a lot of the training sessions. I, I, I don't freaking know. I don't know. To me, just and my initial reaction to the news was, uh, oh, okay, so this is basically a case of you had three guys that have come into the board, four if you include Ross Fumi, who people often forget. So if you think Sven, Raul, um, Fosumi, and then obviously Ivan, who was always there but was more of a bit part player before. You've got four guys that have just come in and who just like, you know what? We've never had so much power before now that Wenger's leaving. So it's time to ensure that the manager never has this much power again, which I'm not necessarily against, but not in this way. Um, and of course, they're giving it to someone like Arteta because I, I find it hilarious. Like I was hearing stories about how they didn't feel that it, Thierry Henry was ready and they didn't feel like Patrick Vieira was ready and I'm sat there thinking you do know that Patrick at least has had at least a, a little bit of experience managing a football club before why does he why is he not ready but Mikel Arteta is that to me just seemed nuts um but I'm starting to calm down a little bit. I'm starting to just think to myself, you know what? It is what it is. We ask for change. And I have said on a couple of shows, including my own, that if we have to take a step back in order to take two steps forward, three steps forward, so be it. And I've always said that. And I've always maintained that. And at least we're probably going into this eyes open thinking, okay, this could be this could be real David Moyes in a spectacular way here. Um I'm hoping he has something about him. I'm hoping he has a strong back room. 
There are lots of rumours talking about how, you know, Santi Corzola will be part of the back room, which I'm happy for him. Um, there are lot of, lots of rumours that Thierry Henry will be part of the back room. I'd be very surprised at that. I can't see him. I could see Thierry Henry being a number two to a an older manager like an Allegri, or even older than that, like a Carlo Ancelotti. To a Mikel Arteta, I'd be very shocked. Um, but I could see the thought process behind that. You know, you want, or from his perspective, you'd want some Arsenal influential figures there um, to kind of really motivate the players. Um, because I, I am not of the belief. I, I know, I've heard people say, like Kenny and Claude, and I respect their opinion completely, uh, that they don't want any former Arsenal players there. But I, I disagree. I don't necessarily want a former Arsenal player as a number one. But I do think these players do need reminding of who the fuck Arsenal is. What the fuck Arsenal is. Wake the fuck up. Put some winning mentality in there. So when I'm seeing rumours of a Robert Perez wanting to join the coaching staff, of course, we know that Freddie Jumberg is going to come back into the setup. We know that Mertesacker is going to go into the setup. We know that Jens Lehmann is keeping his role. So it's going to have a real Arsenal fucking feel in that place. That being said, I also would like a couple of coaches that have nothing to do with Arsenal. Just to balance it out just so that everybody has a really good idea what they're doing and there's just a real genuine, strong coaching setup in the, in that team in order to help us move forward. Um, and that's the main, that's it for me. I, I mean, I'm not overly happy. I'm not overly enthused. I do believe there are better candidates. I mean, even if you didn't want to go to the Allegri route, you didn't feel like you wanted to go to the Luis Enrique route, which, to be honest, I agree with. I'm not completely convinced. Um, why not Jardim? I, I, I don't understand. Jardim plays your football. I don't see him spending extravagant money at Monaco. He's a manager of experience. Surely that, to me, would have been a, a sensible transition. He's not particularly old. I think he's like mid forties. I, I I don't understand that, but we are where we are. And to be honest, I'm at the point now where I just want us to just get on with it. You know, if it is Mikel Arteta, so be it. You know, let's appoint him. Let's get in the coaching staff. Let let's get the right balance of flavors there. And to me, I'll give him a chance. I will. I can't ask for change. And then when we get changed, even if I disagree with who they've picked, complain and bitch and moan before balls even kicked. I think that's unfair on him. I don't hate Arteta. You know, I think a lot of the way Arteta played for Arsenal wasn't his fault. The man was never a DM, but he was asked to do a DM role. Because um, I always liked Arteta when he played for Rangers and when he played for Everton. And to me, and that's what I suppose I don't understand about this appointment, because I would have thought Arteta would be favourite for an Everton role. But we are where we are. Um, so if it is Mikel Arteta, welcome Arteta. Um, I guess I'll look forward to doing a video there, then and there and then. Um, but it's all stories, all direction, all fingers point to Mikel Arteta being appointed next week. And if that's the case, very reluctantly, he has my blessing. Reluctantly, only from the point of view that I am worried. But it's an opportunity for him to prove us all wrong. To show how, how good he really can be as a manager. And hopefully, he has the right coaching staff to be able to support him with that. Because I think we're going to need all the fucking help we can get. You guys let me know what you think. Leave it in the comments below. If you like this video, absolutely crush, destroy, drop kick the shit out of that like button. As you can tell, I'm, probably, I'm not looking that great because I'm not feeling that well. So I'm off to go and get some rest. Um, and I'll catch you guys later. Take care.